got a bit of a funny funny vibration with this T-Rex 600 um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this motor out because it was reasonably warm and it's the only thing I haven't replaced the bearings on so I'm going to have a quick look at it so basically what I've done is I've taken the battery straps off and undone a couple of bolts here and I'm just going to flip the lid up the battery retaining tray and I've just got to take undo the three um, motor, motor wires and then I'll pull it out through the front and we'll have a feel of it and see what see what the go is. So I'll just take the three wires out from underneath. screws here Slide the motor out through the front, hopefully. Anyway, I'm going to strip it down and have a look at it and see what I see what I can find. It's a um, BL650L motor. So we'll see what we find. Hey, I'm just pulling my 600 motor apart. Um, you've got to carefully peel the sticker off the off the top, and what I've done is I've used a 450 main shaft with a collar on it to stop it from sliding down too far Let's see if I can zoom in on that for you ok so I've got a collar on there to stop the, the shafts from going too far through and hooking into the windings there and I've got an old um, screwdriver Phillips bit that I've ground the Phillips off and that sits in there nicely. Now you find that it's really, 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 really tight to get this off. So here's what I did. Um, I have cracked it off now. Um, I've, got a, I've got my blowtorch. And what I did is I put an even heat because lock uh, thread lock takes about 220 degrees to go off. So what I did is I went round just like that. Try not to get it into there because you'll cook the 
whining, but just get it on the outside. Just give it a bit of a heat up all the way around. And what that does is it releases the the um, thread lock. And then what you want to do is I've got a, a, a jimmy bar here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an even, I'm going to use it like a T-bar, get an even torque on both sides so that you're not putting too much strain on one and not the other. And I'm going to just apply pressure. <laughs> it's still quite tight. And then just slowly turn it around. Keeping even pressure on both sides of it. And eventually should come out. Okay, so that's got it out enough, so I'm going to remove my, so it's still quite warm, I'm going to remove my tools, and then remove it, and that whole canister, we'll take it out of the vise and see if we can get it to out. That whole canister should come out and push on the shaft at the same time and the whole canister should come out. Okay now I'm going to have a look at the bearings. on both sides of this unit and see if they're uh, had it. So I'll just put the bearing through, uh, tool through here. Yeah, no, that's had it. That inside bearing's had it. So I'm just going to slide this into here without clamping it. And then I'm going to use my main shaft and just tap that out. side I'll give that a bit of a clean up and see what's going on with it but it doesn't feel good so that's the bearing out of that and then you can take your um what I did is when I when I, I loosened off my bracket and I um, worked out that I was going to be applying torque that way so I put the slots right to the end of the adjustment and then did them up so there was nowhere for this bracket to slip on the motor. So I'm going to clean all this out, get all the, there's quite a fine thread in there if you can see that. Get all the um, old thread lock out. Obviously you want to be applying some more when you put it all back together again. And now I'm going to work on this part. need to do here is you need to put the carefully not to squash any of the threaded component but there's a little step there and if you sit the vise in the right spot so that it's just do it up a little wee bit by hand so that you're not you don't want to be clamping on it at all just so that it's nice and loose in there but not picking up on the threads and then what you do 
as you get your 4mm shaft I don't know if you can see that at all I'll zoom in a little bit and then just lightly you want to tap on it so that it taps the shaft out of the housing or off the shaft itself so just give it a light tap a couple of little light taps that's it you hear that little ping right take it out of your device now And then slide it up carefully. Slide it off. It comes off, of course, the can. And then this little bearing. Should slide, should be able to tap that out. By tapping down on the outside. So what you want to do is sit the vise so that you've got the um, so that the vise comes around the outside here, but not clamping against the windings. and you want to tap that bearing down so we'll just do that now just so you don't want to have that picking up on it at all and then just we just want to tap it down with a main shaft the bottom of it I've got an old T-Rex 600 main shaft here and I'm just going to use the bottom end of it where the um, gear usually goes on and I'm just going to tap this out of the housing carefully um, what I'll do first is I'll get a rag and I'll stick it in the bottom so that it will catch it stick it in the vice like so so that it's kind of like a little cocoon and then sit this in This. not clamping on it and then I'm going to tap this feel it moving and that's it very carefully take it out Okay, now you, you will just loosen your vice off again. And now what you want to do is be careful here because this here won't come back past the zoom out so you can see what I mean. This um, outer housing won't come out past here because you've got your bullet connectors there so you've just got to kind of wiggle it back as far as you can and just leave it sitting there for now. We're going to have to clean all the Loctite and everything out of there, a uh, thread lock bearing retainer out of the casing. And this bearing is completely shot. Completely shot. So what we'll do now is I should be able to get a screwdriver. And I'm glad I took that off. Um, and I'm going to put it down through the center. Well, actually, I should be able to do it with my main shaft. No, the main shaft's too small. Um, I'll grab a screwdriver. It's the right size. 
Okay, so I've got a screwdriver now, just a Phillips screwdriver. This goes down into the hole down here. It comes down onto the bearing. And I'm going to hold the armature in my hand. And I'm just going to tap on the bearing and knock the bearing out of the housing. Just like that. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, yes, it did. Whoa, okay, cool. So the bearing sits in that little housing there. Just in there. And the bearing is just here. I'm just going to put this aside here for now um, and I'm just going to see what this bearing feels like don't know if you can hear that but I'd say highly likely that's where my vibration is so that's going to get replaced and That'll be the end of that drama. So, um, I do have the bearings here. There's a. I oh, can't read that actually, it's very small. Um, so, there's a big bearing and a small bearing basically. The big one. Is a six eight six seven. I'll get the bearings numbers off in a minute for in a minute. Okay, the big bearing is a six eight six Z, and the little bearing is. A 685Z. So I'll order a couple of them. Well, actually, I'll probably order a couple of sets of those. Because I'll probably need to do that in the near future. And why buy one when you can buy two? And I'll get that back to. I'll go. I'll put that back together again and we'll retest it. Cheers for watching.